Hello, I thought I would do a video where I actually speak for a change, so I thought I would show off my horror collection. Um, very proud of this, I've been collecting horror films for about 18 years, um, other genres as well, but I would say horror makes up about maybe half of my DVD collection. So, um, not very prolific. Probably, I think I counted about 156 horror films, and it's taken me about 18 years to get those. So, I'll just show a quick shelf by shelf. I've got the Halloween films up here, the complete collection of those. Um, I think Halloween 2 is the only one I've got on Blu-ray, because the, the DVD transfer for that is so bad, I literally had to buy a Blu-ray to watch it properly. Um... Friday the 13th, I've got all of those, although very different editions. I've got my eye on a, a 4K collection that's coming out this year. Um, I love that series as well. Um, moving across, what have we got here? Texas Chainsaw. Uh, I've got a few of those, not complete. Um, and to be honest, some of those aren't really that great. Uh, especially Texas, I don't enjoy Texas Chainsaw 2. Um, if I ever have to free up some room, that might be going, but for now it can stay there. Um, Hostel 1, the only one worth watching in my opinion. The Thing, The House on Sorority Row, Wolf Creek, Silent Hills, I like them. Descent, then moving down, got a little shark section here. Um, I'm ashamed to say I have Jaws the Revenge in my collection. Uh, <laughs> It's terrible, but I'm keeping it for now. I guess it would be a laugh to show my kids when they grow up, maybe. So I'll keep it there for now. Uh, 47 metres down is pretty good if you haven't seen that. Eden Lake, uh, decent. Cloverfield, Zombie Diaries. Um, I won't ma mention them all. Suspiria, it's like a three film collection there. Suspiria is quite famous the sequels are not but the, the sequels are pretty good as well and the remake of Suspiria there uh, Sinister just the first one um, Hell Knight Creep uh, VHS all three although I've not actually watched the third one even though I bought it um, Paranormal Activity I, I love this series I've got all of these ones um, and there's six of them uh, Resident Evil, just the first four, and I think the reason why I haven't actually gone and bought the fifth yet is because I don't actually like the fifth that much, um, but I probably will do. And there's one there that's actually an animation, Resident Evil Vendetta, that's pretty good as well, although I don't usually watch animation. Um, Evil Dead, just one and two at the moment. Wrong Turn, just the first three. Um, I might carry on with that at some point, but I like those films. Scream, I've only got Scream 4, um, although that's because when I watched them recently, most of them are on Sky, so I just thought, well, I'll save some money there. And I think the only one that Sky didn't have was 4, so I went out and bought that. So moving on to the next shelf, I've got four Underworlds, uh, three from Insidious, I like that series. Conjuring, I really like that, but don't actually have many DVDs for it, just like some of the early ones. 28 Days Later, classics. Wreck, uh, very good sort of zombie series. Just missing the final one. Um, the Ring remake. Child's Play, just one. Candyman, just the first one. The only really good one in that series. Saw, um, just one to six. Again, this is a case of... I didn't really like number seven, so I just kind of stopped buying them at that point. But I might go back to it, but... It was a time when I really liked these films. I haven't watched many of them recently. Aliens. Um, the only one missing, I think, out of those is Resurrection, which I don't like. Um, and some Predator in there. Blair Witch 1 and 2. I quite like Blair Witch 2. Just missing the third one. Hereditary, The Fog. And if we move down to the bottom shelf... It's a bit dark down here because there's not much light in this 
uh, cupboard but the bottom shelf let's see um, tremors one to six um, the Living Dead series I think I've got all of those uh, and then moving into the a massive line of Hammer horror films um, which are getting quite old now but I quite like them um, and some Amicus anthology movies as well uh, so that's pretty much the lot if I was to zoom out um, yeah it's quite a large collection 100, 156 by today's count it's taken 18 years so yeah okay then you enjoyed that bye now